I think uh, the your background voice is coming. I think some someone is. No, no, yes. Yeah. So everyone go on mute. Yeah. So as I mentioned, like in MuleSoft, we have lots of component, we have lots of connector, and we have lots of data we could. In this project, like we, I will try to cover as much as I can. Okay. But uh, after this project also, you need to keep learning. You need to go with different resources. In DataWeb, actually DataWeb itself is a complete programming language. Okay. So that for that, you need to go through DataWeb document. You need to go through all those predefined function you need to understand. Okay. On component side also, we have 30 plus components. So in this project, mostly I think we will able to use 15 to 20 component other component you need to learn by yourself then a connector wise also like we have 200 plus connector okay all the 200 connector will not be very frequently used so no one will expect you to know all those com connector in this project we are going to use four or five kind of connector maybe five to six connector we will use but if you have 10 plus connector knowledge then it's good like uh, other connector you can learn like file connector, JMS connector, uh, other two three connector you can in file only we have three connector file FTP SFTP. In JMS we have JMS connector. Uh, some other connector you can explore on internet and you can learn. Okay. Let me have one question here. Uh, you tell no, now we can install. Millions of runtime in AWS also. Okay. Are you going to show us at least uh, sample on that one? No, no, no. That is part of uh, on-premise deployment model. So here we are work. We will work on cloud app. Okay. Yeah. Rabi, how, where we can find how many connectors are there and uh, how many components, how many scopes are there? These, where we will get it? This yeah, statistic. Yeah. So if you go to anypoint.mulesoft.com Go to this exchange Okay, here in all type select connector and go to provided by MuleSoft. So here you will see all the list of connector. Okay. Okay. What about components? Uh, we'll have the components also in the drop down. No, 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 no. Component you can see in this any point platform, mm -hmm. uh, any point studio. Any point studio. Yeah. Okay. We have core in that core component. So if someone is very new in uh, MuleSoft, so I will I will show all this step like how to install this software, how to create account in any point platform. Since someone asks some questions, so I am just going through that question. And this all thing will come slowly, so I, um, I requested everyone to wait for some time. But still, if someone already asked, then let me show. So here you can see in code, you will able to see all the components. Okay. Frequently used connector, you will able to see inside this uh, add module. So these all connectors are frequently used connector. So if you are getting time, then try to uh, do some POC and other com connectors. So here we are going to cover this uh, HTTP one already there. HTTP one we will use. Then we will use Salesforce one then we will use this uh, object store uh, where is that it's not there yeah object store we will use 
then we will create one our custom connector that we are going to use socket connector we are going to use database connector we are going to use so five six connector we are going to use here other connector you can learn by like uh, yourself do some small small poc going through that connector and you will get some idea uh ravi uh, another one here so we will use jms also right no jms is not there in this project okay i will explain you have it at least ah oh, sorry you will have a discussion at least uh okay basic i can give you idea but uh, jms and all you will get uh, multiple resources okay i will i will tell you basic of this okay yes sure yeah, so all those thing like whatever we will not cover in this project so last day we will have some discussion so during that if you want any basic knowledge of all this connector i can give okay okay so okay okay fine so uh, we are done with this uh, our course content so see whatever content are there as a developer like uh, two three year of development you should have this much of knowledge this knowledge should be fine till two three year two three year of experience if you are going for any like higher profile like uh, five year in mulesoft then you need some architect kind of knowledge also more deep knowledge in this cloud hub and other deployment model that knowledge you need but till three year of experience if you will have all this knowledge then it it will be good enough to manage your uh, job in rules of profile okay so as a developer you should have all this knowledge and i am going to cover all those thing okay. many people even they don't have uh, like if they have 5 6 year of experience they don't know how to do i mean in this performance testing and all but we are going to cover this bitbucket pipeline also Like till five six year, like it it depends on project. Many people they don't know, but we will try to cover. Uh, Ravi, what we will do in the performance testing? Uh, please, I missed that. Uh, performance testing actually like we will see uh, uh we will see this uh, performance of our API. How much time it's taking? How much load it can handle? And what are the tools uh, we use in this? Step? Jmeter, Jmeter we will use. Okay, so here I mentioned connector. Okay, JMS I mentioned here. Maybe I by mistake I mentioned this one. So JMS is we are not going to cover. Anyhow, I will give you some basic knowledge so you will get idea like how JMS connector work. Or let me see if I can include this JMS connector somewhere. Then I will try to include. But at this moment, like whatever design and whatever API is there, so we don't need. But I will I will try to see if we can adjust. but salesforce database http object store custom connector then this one http then socket connector all those connector we are going to use and then for security token uh, that that one is okay okay that i will explain later on so all this connector we are going to use component side we are using to means these all are like uh, some uh, what i can see important component okay a part of this also we are going to cover 10 plus con component but this uh, this components are important component from where you will get more question in interview and like you should have this knowledge okay like scatter gather batch processing parallel for each caching choice router error handling components in error handling we will have on error continue propagate Read error and then error handler scope. Policy side, we are going to use client ID uh, enforcement, rate limiting, spike control, HTTP caching, basic auth, JWT token. Okay, so all those thing we are going to cover. Okay, so let me take this one. 